Okay, I try to fire up this brand new Sylvania 175 watt metal halide bulb earlier, but when I plugged the ballast in, nothing happened. Then I took it out and I examined it and I noticed that, yep, the connection through the starting resistor to the starting electrode came off inside. Darn. And this is a brand new bulb. Well, it's not going to work anymore as a probe start metal halide bulb. I could still turn it into a pulse start bulb. So I wired in this uh, gas grill igniter. It's connected to the ground on the negative side. And this positive side, I just hold it near the wire that goes to the lamp and give it a click and it should start. Okay, the Sylvania metal halide bulb with the broken connection to the starting electrode is in the yard blaster. Let's plug in the ballast. You can hear it humming away. I'm gonna turn off the lights in my room and we'll give it a kick with the gas grill igniter to get it going. Whoops. Wire came off. Here we go. Flip. Hey, turn off the room lights and we'll watch it warm up. When this thing warms up, uh, at first it looks just like a mercury vapor with the bluish green light. But as it warms up, you'll see little faint orange flashes. That's the metal halide element vaporizing and becoming incorporated into the arc. And once all of it vaporizes and mixes with the arc, you'll get a brilliant white light. Still going. Now the light's starting to turn white. It's about four minutes since I've started the bulb and it's just reaching full brightness now. Can't even see anything through the camera because it's just so bright.
just let it keep warming up and uh, I'll unplug it. Okay, turn the room light back on. Shut her down. <laughs> <laughs>